My name is Julie Boyd and this tutorial shows you how to create any textile circuit using one standard LED. The standard LED has two metal legs, we can see them here, um, that need to be twisted um, to create a loop that we can stitch down onto the fabric. This type of LED is slightly harder to use than a PCB LED um, as it's more fiddly and it's harder to identify the positive and negative side uh, of the LED, especially if the legs have been twisted. This is what the LED looks like um, before it's been twisted, um, and we have one short and one long leg. So the shorter leg is the negative side of the LED, and the longer leg is the positive side. So you can see that when these two legs have been twisted, it's going to be quite hard to tell them apart. Once they are twisted, one way of telling them apart is there is a flatter section um, around the edge of the bulb um, that is just above where the um, negative leg is. It's like a cut-off section on the side. Um, it is quite difficult to identify though, um, especially if you're not used to working with LEDs. Some people do mark the legs um, with colours or um, little markings, um, but I'll show you the method that I use in a moment when we um, come to stitch the LED in, in position. To create the circuit, what we are going to do is join the negative side of the LED um, to the negative side of the cell holder and the positive side of the LED to the positive side of the cell holder. A specialist conductive thread is used to make the join. As you can see, the cell holder has four rings, um, two negatives and two positives. For the circuit that we're doing here, we're just going to use one of the negatives and one of the positives. If we were putting this into a product, we um, might hold these other um, rings down um, just by using an ordinary thread um, just to stabilise them. So on this occasion, they're not going to be part of our circuit. Here is our cell holder, LED and our conductive thread. If you um, want information on how to choose the needle, um, thread the needle, um, and how to do the stitches that are used to create the circuits, as well as how to start and finish your stitching, look at the separate tutorials on each of these areas. The first stage of creating our circuit is to twist the legs on our LED um, to make loops that we can actually stitch into position onto the fabric. To twist the legs we're going to use some round nose pliers um, and you can either twist the pliers um, around the leg or twist the leg around the pliers. So here my leg has been twisted, we can see the loop. Um, it's my negative leg, I always twist the negative leg first and stitch the negative leg into position. Um, it's just a habit that helps you to remember where you are if you get a little bit confused. I'm going to push that negative leg to one side and we can push the positive to one side as well. So it's going to sit flat on our fabric. My thread's been brought up from the back of the, the fabric to the front and I'm just going to take the needle through the, the loop that I've just made. And this becomes the fiddly bit to try and hold things in position while you do the over sewing stitches going into the loop of the leg. So one of the challenges is your thread can get caught um, on the, um, the, the little bit of the leg here, the bit that's twisted round mm -hmm. and everything sort of moves around a little bit as you're stitching. This is called an over sewn stitch, so if you're not sure how to do this take a look at the separate video that gives you some instructions. You need about six stitches or so to hold the leg in position. Just notice that uh, uh, the stitches are, are clustered tightly together so um, they're very close to the fabric and they're very close to each other. When I teach this I talk about um, the, the legs not being spread out like spider's leg but being sort of clumped um, uh, all together. Then going to do some running stitches um, to go down from the LED down to where the cell holder is going to be positioned. As we're working on the negative side of the circuit we need to match up on the negative side of the cell holder. So we're going to bring the um, thread up through the ring and do our over sewing stitches in the same way as before. The negative side of the circuit is now complete so we're going to go on to the positive side. So first of all we're just going to twist the leg into position. So my leg is now twisted and sitting flat on the surface of my fabric so I'm just going to stitch from the positive side of my LED up to the positive side of my cell holder. 
When I stitch the second side of the circuit, just note I'm going to use a separate piece of thread to the one that I used before. My circuit is now complete, so the last stage is to put the cell into the holder. Um, um, just be careful not to touch the underneath and the top of the, um, the cell if you can help it, because um, it can short out the cell. Um, um, and just slide it into position into the cell holder with the positive side on the cell pointing upwards. Just push it in and your LED should light up. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive new tutorials as they are uploaded. Visit the website julieboyd.co.uk for all things D&T, especially textiles, and that includes free resources, a weekly D&T newsletter, and course information.